Hi friends, welcome to another video. Today we'll be talking about deep margin elevation. So uh, this is a maxillary second premolar. You can see the caries is extending subgingivally. So we have initially trimmed the gums, uh, like has been shown in another video. You can check on our channel. So after trimming the gums and cleaning and stopping the bleeding with a hemostatic gel, we have adapted a wedge. You can see this is a wide wedge which has adapted very nicely to the gingival seat. We have etched the tooth and then bonded the tooth and now we are using a bulk flow to increase the height of the gingival seat. So here we just push and uh, flow the bulk flow and increase the vertical height to the crest of this wedge. Now we are curing the bulk flow composite. After removing the wedge you can see that we have elevated the margin or lifted the margin well above the level of the gums. We are finishing it with a red band bar. So what will be the advantage? The most important advantage will be while doing the root canal will not be spilling hypochlorite. The second advantage is while doing the post operative restoration our matrix band will go very nicely below the elevated margin and our coronal CV will be very efficient. You can see that I have tucked this rubber dam margin on the other side and now I am bringing it back to below. Now it is easier to invert the rubber dam below the margin of the restoration. So this is deep margin elevation. You can do it in various ways. One of the way I have shown. Thank you so much for your time.